Now. Investigators are looking into an overnight fire at a vacant hotel in the heart of Orlando's busy tourist district. As West News Bob Hazen reports, there were other fires reported nearby around that same time. This former hotel has a long history of issues with Orlando code enforcement, and even though it's supposed to be empty, I am told that several people have been living here. Now it's at the center of an investigation into why it and another abandoned building on I Drive caught fire. Fire investigators walked around this vacant hotel on Kirkman near I Drive looking for evidence about what started the fire overnight. The I Drive Grand Resort and Suites has been closed since 2020. Documents show it was condemned because of issues, mainly with its fire safety system. Now windows are boarded up, landscaping overgrown, but apparently it has not been empty. A man who didn't want to go on camera said he was here when the fire started and told me about a dozen people have been living at this building. Around 11.30, the flames erupted. Orlando firefighters were able to knock it down quickly and had to rescue four people from inside. They were treated for smoke inhalation. Others escaped on their own. Around the same time, the Orlando Fire Department says two other fires were reported. One at this closed-down Ponderosa restaurant on I Drive. It's about a mile away. We could see charred wood in a doorway. Another fire was reported in a dumpster nearby. Investigators now trying to figure out if all the fires are connected and whether they were intentionally set. And while four people were treated for smoke inhalation, OFD says no one had to go to the hospital and there were no serious injuries. Reporting off I Drive, Bob Hazen, West 2 News.